The year 2023 has witnessed the untimely departure of several beloved celebrities who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. From iconic actors to legendary musicians, their contributions have touched the hearts of millions around the world. As we honor their memory, join us in paying tribute to these 25 influential figures who graced our screens and stages, leaving behind a profound legacy that will continue to inspire generations to come. Lisa Marie Presley Lisa Marie Presley, the renowned singer-songwriter and daughter of the legendary Elvis Presley, sadly passed away on January 12 at the age of 54 due to suspected cardiac arrest. As the only child of Elvis and Priscilla Presley, Lisa Marie proved herself as a talented musician, releasing her debut album, To Whom It May Concern. This remarkable album showcased her songwriting prowess, with Lisa Marie contributing to every single song. It achieved significant success, reaching number 5 on the Billboard 200 chart and earning a gold certification. Following her debut, her second album, Now What, also claimed a spot in the top 10 of the Billboard 200. Throughout her life, Lisa Marie was married four times to Danny Keough, Michael Jackson, Nicolas Cage, and Michael Lockwood, and she leaves behind a lasting legacy and four children, including the accomplished actress Riley Keough. Treat Williams Treat Williams, the beloved actor known for his roles in Everwood and Hare, tragically passed away on June 12 as a result of a fatal motorcycle accident. At the age of 71, his sudden departure left the entertainment industry in mourning. The news of Treat Williams' untimely demise was confirmed by his agent of 15 years, Barry McPherson, who expressed profound grief, stating, he was killed this afternoon when another vehicle abruptly cut him off while he was making a turn. McPherson, deeply saddened by the loss, remembered Treat Williams as an incredibly kind-hearted individual, brimming with talent. He was revered as an actor's actor, cherished by filmmakers who recognized his immense contributions since the late 1970s. Tina Turner Tina Turner, the iconic singer often hailed as the queen of rock roll, passed away on May 24 at the age of 83. She initially rose to prominence during the 1960s and 1970s as part of a musical duo with her then-husband, Ike Turner. However, after enduring years of both verbal and physical abuse, she courageously divorced him in 1976. In the 1980s, Turner embarked on a remarkable reinvention, solidifying her status as a global rock superstar. Her chart-topping hits, including What's Love Got To Do With It, Let's Stay Together, and The Best, captivated audiences worldwide. Additionally, Turner showcased her talent on the silver screen, appearing in notable films like Tommy, 1975, and Mad Max, Beyond Thunderdome, 1985. Her extraordinary life journey served as the foundation for her memoir, I, Tina, 1986, which inspired the critically acclaimed 1993 biopic, What's Love Got To Do With It?, featuring Angela Bassett's Oscar-nominated portrayal of the musical legend. Furthermore, Turner's profound influence led to the creation of the jukebox musical Tina, which premiered in London in 2018, paying homage to her remarkable legacy. Lance Reddick Lance Reddick, the esteemed actor recognized for his remarkable contributions to television shows such as The Wire, Fringe, Resident Evil, and Bosch, as well as notable films like the John Wick franchise, passed away on March 17 from natural causes at the age of 60. Hailing from Baltimore, Reddick's journey in the arts began with his pursuit of music studies at the University of Rochester, followed by his enrollment at the esteemed Yale School of Drama. His breakthrough in the television realm arrived with his impactful role in the HBO prison drama Oz in 2000, which paved the way for his acclaimed portrayal of a Baltimore police officer on the network's renowned series The Wire. Reddick's versatility shone through in his portrayal of a corrosive CEO on corporate and his appearances in other notable productions such as Lost, Godzilla vs. Kong, Rick Morty, and One Night in Miami. Additionally, he made significant contributions to the world of video games, lending his talent to titles like Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West, Destiny, Destiny 2, and Quantum Break. Lance Reddick's impactful presence will be remembered and cherished by audiences. Harry Belafonte Harry Belafonte, the iconic singer, actor, and civil rights activist who stood alongside Martin Luther King Jr. during historic marches, passed away on Tuesday, April 25, 
at the age of 96 due to congestive heart failure. In addition to his unwavering commitment to humanitarian causes, Belafonte served as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, receiving an honorary Oscar in 2014 for his exceptional contributions. The acclaimed entertainer's career was adorned with remarkable achievements, including the release of the renowned 1956 single Banana Boat Day O and a collection of prestigious accolades from the Grammys, Tonys, and Emmys, spanning several decades. Notably, one of his final ventures was an impactful role in Spike Lee's critically acclaimed film, Black Landsman, which received an Oscar nomination in 2018. Harry Belafonte's enduring legacy as a trailblazer in music, activism, and the arts will continue to inspire generations to come. Raquel Welch Raquel Welch, the acclaimed actress who captured the public's imagination as a symbol of sensuality during the 1960s, passed away on February 15 at the age of 82. Born Joe Raquel Tejada, Welch made a significant impact in the film industry with her portrayals of Cora in the 1966 science fiction film Fantastic Voyage and Loana in the fantasy film One Million Years BC. Her minimal dialogue opposite John Richardson in the latter film was overshadowed by her unforgettable appearance in a daring deerskin bikini, propelling her to become an international sex symbol. Throughout the 60s and 70s, Welch continued to grace the silver screen with a diverse range of roles, including memorable performances in The Queens, Bedazzled, Lady in Cement, Honey Calder, 100 Rifles, The Three Musketeers, and Crossed Swords. In 1975, she notably appeared in The Three Musketeers. Additionally, her talent extended to television, with notable credits including Mork Mindy, Evening Shade, Seinfeld, and, more recently, Legally Blonde, American Family, and How to Be a Latin Lover. Raquel Welch's contributions to the world of entertainment have left an indelible mark, forever cementing her legacy as an iconic figure. C.J. Harris C.J. Harris, a talented musician who achieved recognition by reaching the top six on the 13th season of American Idol, sadly passed away on January 13 in his hometown of Jasper, Alabama. Born in 1991, Harris discovered his passion for music at a young age, inspired by his grandfather, who gifted him a guitar. Recalling his early days, Harris shared in a 2014 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he had a guitar in the shed with three strings on it, and I thought, why buy a whole new set of strings? Harris embarked on his American Idol journey in 2010, also attempting auditions for The X Factor and The Voice on separate occasions. Undeterred by previous setbacks, Harris made a triumphant return to audition for American Idol in 2014, captivating the judges with his soulful rendition of the Allman Brothers' Soul Shine. Following his impressive run on the show, Harris had the opportunity to perform with fellow contestants during the show's live tour. In a memorable moment, he even shared the stage with one of his musical influences, Darius Rucker, at the esteemed Grand Ole Opry in 2014. Harris' debut single, In Love, was released in 2019, showcasing his growing talent as a singer-songwriter. Though his time was cut short, C.J. Harris leaves behind a lasting musical legacy that touched the hearts of many. Robbie Knievel Robbie Knievel, the fearless daredevil renowned for his death-defying motorcycle jumps and the son of the legendary evil Knievel, passed away on January 13 following a courageous battle with pancreatic cancer. He was 60 years old. Throughout his remarkable life, Captain Robbie Knievel shattered expectations by setting an astonishing 20 world records and executing countless perilous jumps, paying homage to the extraordinary feats of his father. Notably, in 1989, Knievel successfully conquered the iconic fountains at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, triumphing where his father had previously faced a challenging outcome two decades earlier. Furthermore, in 1999, Knievel realized his father's lifelong dream by soaring over a section of the majestic Grand Canyon. Displaying unmatched audacity throughout his career, he fearlessly leapt over formidable obstacles such as 30 limousines, five military planes, a moving train, and even the daunting gap between two 13-story buildings. Knievel's extraordinary stunts earned him widespread recognition and acclaim. Additionally, he captivated audiences as the headliner of the 2005 AE reality series, Knievel's Wild Ride. Robbie Knievel's legacy as a daring and awe-inspiring performer will forever be etched in the annals of extreme sports. Robbie Bachman 
Robbie Bachman, the esteemed drummer of the legendary rock band Bachman Turner Overdrive, passed away on January 12 at the age of 69. Born as Robin Robbie Peter Kendall Bachman in Winnipeg, Canada, in 1953, he hailed from a musical family, honing his drumming skills alongside his older brothers, Randy and Tim. The trio initially performed together in the band Brave Belt before transitioning to the iconic name Bachman Turner Overdrive in 1973. As the co-founder and original drummer of BTO, Robbie's dynamic drumming style resonated throughout eight of the band's chart-topping records. His exceptional musical contributions extended beyond percussion, as he also played a pivotal role in co-writing some of their most significant hits, including Hold Back the Water in 1973 and Roll on Down the Highway in 1974. In recognition of his immense impact on Canadian music, Robbie Bachman was rightfully inducted into the prestigious Canadian Music Hall of Fame in 2014, solidifying his enduring legacy. Charles Kimbrough Charles Kimbrough, the esteemed actor who garnered Tony and Emmy nominations, passed away on January 11 at the age of 86. He was best known for his iconic portrayal of the straight-faced anchorman Jim Dial on the beloved sitcom Murphy Brown. With a notable background in theater, Kimbrough received his breakthrough opportunity in the original production of Stephen Sondheim's Company, earning a Tony nomination in 1971. His talent shone in other acclaimed Sondheim musicals as well, including Sunday in the Park with George in 1984. Kimbrough's theatrical repertoire encompassed noteworthy performances in Candide, Same Time, Next Year, Accent on Youth, The Merchant of Venice, and, most recently, the 2012 revival of Harvey alongside Jim Parsons. However, it was his role as Jim Dial on Murphy Brown that propelled him to greater mainstream recognition. He portrayed the character throughout the sitcom's successful 10-season run from 1988 to 1998, even reprising the role for several episodes of the 2018 reboot. Kimbrough's versatile career extended to television shows such as Kojak, All My Children, American Playhouse, Love Boat, The Next Wave, and movies including The Front, It's My Turn, and The Good Mother. He also contributed his voice to the 1996 animated film The Hunchback of Notre Dame and shows like Recess and Pinky and the Brain, leaving a lasting impact across various mediums. Ben Masters Ben Masters, the esteemed actor renowned for his portrayal of billionaire Julian Crane on the beloved soap opera Passions, passed away on January 11 at the age of 75. Masters' talent extended beyond the small screen, as he made notable appearances on Broadway and in films such as All That Jazz, Key Exchange, Dream Lover, and Making Mr. Right. However, it was his captivating portrayal of the cunning billionaire in an impressive 772 episodes of Passions that truly made him a household name. For this role, Masters received well-deserved recognition, earning three nominations for Soap Opera Digest Awards. Throughout his prolific career, Masters showcased his versatility by taking on various television roles, including memorable appearances in the miniseries Celebrity and Noble House. His talents graced popular shows like Kojak, Petrocelli, Touched by an Angel, Kung Fu, The Legend Continues, Barnaby Jones, Diagnosis Murder, Sisters, and Pensacola, Wings of Gold. Ben Masters' undeniable presence and exceptional acting skills have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry securing his place among the most respected performers of his time. Carol Cook Carol Cook, the beloved comedic actress who achieved fame under the guidance and mentorship of Lucille Ball, passed away on January 11, just three days before her 99th birthday. Born as Mildred Frances Cook in Abilene, Texas, on January 14, 1924, Cook adopted the name Carol on the advice of Ball, inspired by the renowned actress Carol Lombard. Impressed by Cook's performance in Annie Get Your Gun, Ball extended an invitation to audition for her Desilu workshop, eventually leading to Cook signing with Ball's production company. Remarkably, Cook even became a resident in Ball's home after the iconic comedian's divorce from Daisy Arnaz. Throughout her career, Cook graced both the silver screen and television, collaborating with Ball on The Lucy Show and Here Comes Lucy. Noteworthy roles included portraying Don Knotts' wife in The Incredible Mr. Limpet and leaving a lasting impression in films such as American Gigolo and Sixteen Candles. Recognized as a prolific guest actress, she made memorable appearances on numerous popular shows, 
ranging from that girl and Maud to Charlie's Angels and Kojak, from Starsky Hutch and Laverne Shirley to Dynasty and the Love Boat. In 2018, Cook found herself unintentionally embroiled in controversy when she made a comment suggesting an unconventional way to deal with then-President Donald Trump. The remark resulted in a visit from the Secret Service, whom she humorously described as exceptionally pleasant. Cook wittily remarked about the incident, stating, I can't go to prison because horizontal stripes don't look good on me. Carol Cook's comedic talent and enduring contributions have left an indelible mark, ensuring her place as a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Jeff Beck Jeff Beck, the legendary guitarist who made an indelible mark on the music world, sadly passed away on January 10 at the age of 78 due to complications from bacterial meningitis. Recognized as one of the greatest guitarists of all time by Rolling Stone, Beck's influence was immeasurable. He revolutionized the blues genre, expanding its horizons and popularizing techniques such as audio feedback and distortion, which would go on to shape the sound of heavy metal. His contributions to music were celebrated with not one, but two inductions into the prestigious Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, first as a member of the Yardbirds, and later for his remarkable work with the Jeff Beck Group. Over the course of his illustrious career, Beck garnered eight Grammy Awards, including his initial win for Best Rock Instrumental Performance in 1986 with the track Escape from the Flash album. In more recent times, Beck formed a creative partnership with acclaimed actor Johnny Depp. Their collaboration yielded a cover of John Lennon's Isolation in 2020, a poignant reflection on the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Depp even joined Beck on stage in the United Kingdom in June 2022 following his victorious defamation trial against his ex-wife Amber Heard. The duo's collaborative album, titled 18, was released in July 2022, showcasing their artistic synergy and shared musical vision. Tatiana Petitz Tatiana Petitz, the iconic supermodel, passed away on January 11 at the age of 56. Hailing from Germany, she emerged as one of the original supermodels, gracing the runways for esteemed fashion designers such as Vivian Westwood, Chanel, and Donna Karen, to name a few. Petit's striking beauty and talent propelled her to grace the cover of Vogue magazine on six separate occasions, solidifying her status as a fashion industry icon. She achieved further acclaim through her memorable appearance in George Michael's groundbreaking music video for Freedom 90, where she stood alongside fellow supermodels Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, Linda Evangelista, and Christy Turlington. Together, they captured the attention of audiences worldwide, leaving an indelible imprint on the fashion and music realms. Tatiana Petit's extraordinary contributions to the modeling world will forever be remembered and cherished. Melinda Dillon Melinda Dillon, acclaimed for her memorable portrayal of the exasperated yet loving Mrs. Parker in the beloved 1983 film A Christmas Story, passed away on January 9 at the age of 83. While she is most widely recognized for her role in this holiday classic, Dillon's extensive career spanned various notable achievements. She received two Academy Award nominations, one for her compelling performance as a resilient single mother in Close Encounters of the Third Kind and another for her portrayal of a sheltered Catholic woman in Absence of Malice. Additionally, Dylan earned a Tony nomination for her impressive Broadway debut as Honey in the original 1962 production of Edward Albee's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Her remarkable talent shone through in a range of notable roles, including appearances in Magnolia, Bound for Glory, Slap Shot, Harry and the Hendersons, and The Prince of Tides. Melinda Dillon's contributions to the entertainment industry will forever be treasured, leaving behind a legacy of remarkable performances. Adam Rich Adam Rich, the former child star renowned for his portrayal of Nicholas Bradford in the beloved sitcom 8 is Enough, passed away on January 7 at his residence in Los Angeles. He was 54 years old, and the cause of his death has not been disclosed publicly. Alongside his notable role in the family-oriented sitcom, which aired on ABC from 1977 to 1981, Rich made appearances on several shows and TV movies during the late 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s. His versatile talent graced popular series such as Chips, Fantasy Island, Small Wonder, Dungeons Dragons, Code Red, and Baywatch. In 2003, he made a brief return to acting, playing a humorous rendition of himself in the comedy film Dickie Roberts, 
former child star. Notably, Rich reprised his role as the youngest Bradford son in the TV movies Eight is Enough, a family reunion and an Eight is Enough wedding. Adam Rick's contributions to the entertainment industry, particularly as a beloved child star, will forever be cherished and remembered. Earl Bone Earl Bone, a highly accomplished character and voice actor renowned for his portrayal of Dr. Peter Silberman in the iconic Terminator film series, passed away on January 5 while in Hawaii. He was 81 years old. Bone's remarkable acting prowess graced over 250 diverse films, television series, and video games throughout his illustrious career in the entertainment industry. His standout performance as the formidable Dr. Silberman in the 1984 film Terminator became a defining role, which he skillfully reprised in Terminator 2, Judgment Day in 1991, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines in 2003, and even through archival footage in Terminator, Dark Fate in 2019. Fred White Fred White, the esteemed drummer of Earth, Windfire, passed away on January 1 at the age of 67. Joining the group as a teenager in 1974, White played a pivotal role in their success, contributing to their first Billboard No. 1 hit, Shining Star, and providing captivating beats for other beloved tracks like September and Let's Groove. Verdine White, Fred's brother and a founding member of Earth, Windfire, announced the heartbreaking news on New Year's Day, expressing that Fred now joins their late bandmates Maurice, Monty, and Ronald. Recognized as a child prodigy and an original member of EWF, Fred achieved remarkable milestones, earning gold records at a mere 16 years old. In Verdine's heartfelt tribute on Instagram, he highlighted Fred as the fourth brother in their family lineup. Yet, Beyond their musical bond, Fred was cherished as a wonderful brother who brought entertainment and delightful mischief both at home and beyond. Gangsta Boo Lola Chantrell Mitchell, widely recognized by her stage name Gangsta Boo, was discovered deceased on January 1, although the cause of her passing remains undetermined. She was 43 years old. Hailing from Memphis, she gained prominence as a member of the influential hip-hop group 3-6 Mafia, collaborating with them on six albums before departing from the collective in 2001. Gangsta Boo further established her presence in the music industry through the release of three solo albums, alongside numerous mixtapes. Additionally, her talent was sought after as she frequently made notable guest appearances on tracks by fellow artists. Andrea Evans Andrea Evans the esteemed soap opera star renowned for her portrayal of the troubled teenager Tina Lord on One Life to Live, passed away on July 9 at the age of 66. Originally from Aurora, Illinois, Evans made a significant impact in the industry, earning two Daytime Emmy nominations throughout her career, one for her memorable role on One Life to Live and another for her work on the web series Divanity. She became a beloved fixture on daytime television, gracing screens in popular shows such as The Young and the Restless, The Bold and the Beautiful, Passions, and The Bay. Prior to her passing, Evans had completed her memoir, titled My One Life to Live, capturing her experiences and journey in the industry. George Tickner George Tickner, one of the co-founders and original rhythm guitarist of the legendary rock band Journey, passed away on July 5 at the age of 76. Tickner played a pivotal role in establishing the band alongside Neil Sean, Prairie Prince, Greg Rowley, and Ross Valerie in 1973. His creative contributions were significant, as he co-wrote and composed several tracks featured on Journey's initial three albums, including notable songs like Of A Lifetime and Mystery Mountain. In pursuit of academic aspirations, Tickner made the difficult decision to depart from the group, opting to pursue a PhD at Stanford University on a prestigious full scholarship. Nevertheless, he maintained close ties with the founding members and joyfully reunited with them on the momentous occasion when Journey was honored with a star on the illustrious Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2005. Coco Lee Coco Lee, the talented singer-songwriter from Hong Kong, known for her enchanting voice as the Mandarin voice of Mulan in the Disney classic, and for her contributions to notable soundtracks like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon and Runaway Bride, tragically took her own life on July 5 at the age of 48. Born in Hong Kong and raised in the United States, 
Lee embarked on her musical journey in the 1990s and continued to captivate audiences with over 15 studio albums released throughout her remarkable 30-year career. With her exceptional vocal range and versatility, she mesmerized listeners with performances in English, Mandarin, and Cantonese. Lee's unforgettable hits, including Di Da Di, Before I Fall in Love, and A Love Before Time, the latter featured on the Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon soundtrack, garnered widespread acclaim. This beautiful composition was even nominated for Best Original Song at the 2001 Academy Awards, solidifying Lee's enduring legacy. Lawrence Terman C. Lawrence Terman, the esteemed producer who received an Oscar nomination for his work on the iconic film The Graduate, passed away on July 1 at the remarkable age of 96. Terman was a visionary pioneer of the new Hollywood era in the 1960s and 70s, demonstrating his exceptional talent by assembling the graduate from the ground up. His remarkable contributions included enlisting Simon Garfunkel to create the film's memorable music, as well as collaborating with director Mike Nichols. Terman's illustrious career encompassed numerous noteworthy productions, such as The Great White Hope, Pretty Poison, American History X, The Drowning Pool, and John Carpenter's revered 1982 remake of The Thing. Additionally, he made substantial contributions to the world of education as the chair of USC's prestigious Peter Stark producing program, a role he fulfilled from 1991 until his well-deserved retirement in 2021. Alan Arkin Alan Arkin, the highly accomplished actor, director, producer, and author, passed away at the age of 89. His remarkable career spanned over 65 years, showcasing extraordinary performances in a diverse range of films including Catch-22, The In-Laws, Edward Scissorhands, Gross Point Blank, Glengarry Glen Ross, The Pentagon Papers, Argo, The Kaminsky Method, and his unforgettable Academy Award-winning role in Little Miss Sunshine in 2006. Arkin's creative talents extended beyond acting, as he also excelled as a producer and director, helming notable films such as Little Murders and Fire Sale. In addition to his contributions to the world of film, Arkin displayed his literary prowess as an accomplished author, gifting readers with captivating works such as The Lemming Condition, its follow-up The Clearing, and memoirs titled An Improvised Life and Out of My Mind. Throughout his illustrious journey, Alan Arkin's artistic legacy will continue to inspire generations to come. Nicholas Coster Nicholas Coster the beloved soap opera star renowned for his portrayal of Lionel Lockridge on NBC's Santa Barbara, passed away on June 26 due to complications of myelodysplastic syndromes after a courageous battle with cancer. He was 89 years old. Coster's journey in the entertainment industry began in the 1950s with an uncredited role in the film Titanic. Throughout his prolific career, he showcased his incredible talent as a character actor in notable productions like All the President's Men, Star Trek, the Next Generation, Charlie's Angels, and All My Children. Recognized for his exceptional work on Santa Barbara, Coster received three Daytime Emmy nominations and eventually secured a win in 2017 for his captivating performance as Mayor Jack Madison on Prime Video's The Bay. In recent years, he delighted audiences with his appearances in series such as The Young Pope, The Last Exorcist, and The Deep Ones, of which he was also a co-producer. Additionally, in 2021, Coster shared his remarkable journey through the publication of his memoir, titled Another Whole Afternoon. In memory of these remarkable individuals, let us honor their contributions and celebrate the legacies they left behind. May their talent, passion, and indelible mark on the world continue to inspire us. Rest in peace, dear celebrities. Thanks for